Uh, hey everyone, this is Josh, and I'm here for my final oral presentation. Our digital artists, uh, concept artists, the new landscape masters. And I believe that digital artists are part of the new landscape masters. Um, I think digital artists are part of the masters and painting in general um, because they still are able to do more traditional styles of painting. They still have to worry about the concepts of design. Um, but now they just have a new medium to work in. Um, so with the ability to gather a lot of reference and have it by you um, and use tools to adjust colors and values and kind of get more of the look that you're looking for, digital painters are able to push boundaries that traditional painters uh, weren't physically able to um, with the medium. Um, with the amount of variety that is available, uh, where digital artists are able to work from a really realistic um, interpretation of a subject to a very surrealistic to very abstract and um, there's a lot of ways you can mimic traditional painting in digital painting so you can kind of get that feel um, for it like they used to. Um, so not only are they able, like digital painters are able to use a lot more than was able uh, before but with tools like the app iPad and the Apple Pencil uh, artists can take their digital workspace where they go and work outside and do plein air paintings and um, this is kind of like what the old masters did when they went out and saw mountains or like looked at lakes or looked at trees and they were able to kind of sketch what they see and get more accurate colors or exaggerate the colors that they saw. Um, this can be seen in Eric Elwell's work um, when he uses the iPad Pro. Um, he's, they're able to travel and sketch on location like one would with traditional paints but without all the setup that's required. Um, they don't have to pour out the pants to set up an easel as much. Um, they can just use apps like Procreate, they're able to make paintings with a great amount of detail and some realism, and it, it almost looks like an acrylic painting with the sharp edges and the high contrast, um, so that you get more traditionally. And this is just a study too, um, they can take this work and export it into Photoshop and work on that further or incorporate it into another work. You can see how far digital landscapes can be pushed by many digital illustrators now, um, and one of my favorites that I've kind of seen, and someone who's also uh, given as like an example for a master study for a final project was Noah Bradley. Um, he works with a bunch of different companies as a freelance. Um, companies like Magic the Gathering doing like fantasy surrealist art. And uh, what I love about his paintings is that he's able to keep a traditional style of blending and colors and uh, kind of just the realism part of it, um, but make things incredibly surreal by like incorporating incredibly vivid colors that traditional paintings painters would not be able to easily create through just traditional mixing. Um, he also has the ability to kind of work in a really large format and for digital painting this is really nice because you can zoom in and zoom out and check your composition and do things that traditional painters would have to step back and like look at their giant painting or step forward or get incredibly close for the details. Um, this is stuff that can be done comfortably now from just a computer um, and it saves a lot of time. So with digital painting, artists are also able to resize and modify the size of the canvas, and you can kind of just make more changes on the fly, and you have a lot more wiggle room. Um, I mean, you don't get the texture as you do with traditional painting, but you could also um, get a lot of the feeling and capture a lot of the emotion that traditional painters did um, with landscapes. And I think they have made a huge impact on the field of um, landscape illustration. <laughs>